determine the exact value of the limit if it exists. We have the limit as x approaches zero of the difference of two to the power of x and seven to the power of x, all divided by x. Let's first see if we can determine the limit by performing direct substitution. Performing direct substitution, we substitute zero for x, which gives us two to the power of zero minus seven to the power of zero, all divided by zero. Simplifying, two to the zero is one, seven to the zero is one, giving us one minus one or zero divided by zero. Notice we have the indeterminate form of zero divided by zero. This indicates we cannot determine the exact value of the limit by performing direct substitution. However, it does mean we can use L'Hopital's rule to help us determine the limit. L'Hopital's rule, also called Bernoulli's rule, uses derivatives to evaluate limits involving the indeterminate forms shown below. Notice in our case, we have the most common indeterminate form of zero divided by zero. L'Hopital's rule states the limit as x approaches c of f of x divided by g of x equals the limit as x approaches c of f prime of x divided by g prime of x. Applying L'Hopital's rule to the given limit, we have the limit as x approaches zero of the derivative of the numerator divided by the derivative of the denominator. To differentiate two to the power of x and seven to the power of x, we need to apply the derivative formula shown below. Notice here the chain rule is included, but in our case, because u is equal to x, u prime is equal to one, the chain rule is not required. The derivative of two to the power of x is equal to natural log of the base two times the original function of two to the power of x, and then minus the derivative of seven to the power of x is equal to natural log seven times the original function of seven to the power of x. And then we divide by the derivative of the denominator, and the derivative of x is equal to one. And now in this form, let's see if we can determine the limit by performing direct substitution. Subbing in zero for x, we have, we have natural log two times two to the power of zero minus natural log seven times seven to the power of zero, all divided by one. Simplifying, two to the power of zero was one, and so was seven to the power of zero, which indicates the exact value of the limit is natural log two minus natural log seven, which is a decimal approximation, is approximately negative 1.2528. But again, this question does ask for the exact value of the limit if it exists, and therefore we give the answer as natural log two minus natural log seven. I hope you found this helpful.